Ah, lovely in Menden video. Yeah, yeah, it's a lovely in Menden video. Just figured I'd go on a walkabout of, uh, you know, the area <laughs> that I traverse during my day. Mm, horses. Very nice in the uh, autumn over there. I really should do some videos. Uh, but, you know, road, traffic, noise. But it's probably not enough noise to make it all that difficult to do. So anyway, there's the sun sets over there. It's very nice. Anyway, so you don't have to maintain all of this crap. <laughs> yeah, but it's really, it's funny. The, the houses have never been in worse shape and the yard has never looked nicer. So there's the old tree. People, Some people might remember the the tree that re-elevated. Yeah. Um, anyway, <clears throat> back in hurricane days. So this is <clears throat> the old neighbor path. Yes, we don't even speak of. <laughs> yeah. Still little remnants of crap to get rid of. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of some of this bamboo this year. I don't know. Let's see if I get adventurous. It's really... You know, once it's established, it's kind of difficult to get rid of. So this is not ready yet, which is irritating. I have got this. These are my sections here, neighbor sections here. <laughs> but as yeah, so I have planted this one, and the little beets kind of look scurvy, but they'll be all right. And I just cover them until I can put up netting, and you know, until we put up the fence and the laser beams and all that kind of crap. Um, so this is kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, I grew a daffodil. Yeah, at the end of May. Uh, it's kind of funny. I was hoping it would last till June, but it's just not going to make it. So, I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, I had some bulbs somebody gave me, and I, <laughs> I thought they were tulips, but they weren't doing anything. and So I kept trying to force them. <clears throat> and... Um, so, uh, I finally got one of them to do something. So, I, you know, it's kind of interesting, though, that you can have a daffodil in May. So, it's, I don't remember what this stuff is, and it's really, I love this flower. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's not all that fancy or anything, but it's just such a perfect color, and it's just so damn pretty. Uh, so, yeah, somebody knows what this vine is. Uh, I'll forget the name again, but, you know, I thought it was dead, it fucking, you know, didn't do too well, and then it all, you know, a nice comeback. So the root's good, I guess. And I'm starting to get some petunias here. Slow but sure. Uh, you have a lot of this weed. I don't know what this one is. This is the new weed of the year. This variegated crap is doing okay. Uh, myrtle. A nice, uh, this, what the fuck is this shit? It is everywhere this year. This, you know, nasty cat looking awful putsy. It's kind of hot for cats. My little lion fountain. Yay. I have to put a plant in there. Yeah, it didn't really work as a fountain very well. It just kind of splashed too much, and, you know, then it would run out of water, and, you know, what good is that? Uh, shit. See, you can't talk and smoke. Uh, I mean, if I'm the only one talking. <laughs> you know, I can't stop talking to smoke, and then my cigarette goes out. And it depresses me. Ah, uh, so yes, I have cigarettes. Ah, oh, very nice. Uh, excellent. Fantastic. Beautiful. Mmm. So nice. 89 degrees in here. <laughs> yeah. I, I do like it warm, though. But 89, you know, starts hitting 90 inside the house. That is a little excessive. So, but I'm only, uh... Five pounds short of my 20-year-old, 21-year-old weight. So that's, you know, I've got five pounds to go. And then I can die. So, yeah, these haven't flowered yet, but they'll be nice. Uh, Verbenia thingy. 
And these are almost something happening. I don't know what that'll be yet, color. So, who knows? Geranium, almost. And petunias, petunias. This one's sort of pretty. In, you know, kind of a understated kind of way. I mean, that's, uh, you know, lovely. Oh, as I say, cat is lovely. Oh, hey, cat. How you doing there? Oh, <laughs> you got a claws. You really do. Don't matter how old you got, as long as you got claws, right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, all these irises did nicely. Yes, yes, the other guy was talking about the bearded iris. Not my bearded irises. See, there's some more of that crap, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, it's fooling me here. It's, it's hiding inside of the buttercups, which, you know, it's not a good sign. I don't think that they're growing here. <laughs> you know, I don't think so. So, but the deer haven't eaten in here yet, which is good because the lilies are actually growing. So, there are a few less deer. Ah, oh, there's the other cat. Orange cat is hiding right there. He is. Orange cat. I call him Fluffy Butt. No, I call him Mellow. That's it. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, you know, Fox and Rooter gave me some advice on uh, grafting trees. And I was thinking, yeah, I got to do that. And so I'll take some grafts off of here and put them on my crab apple. See how it goes. And, uh, yeah, so enough of that. I'm not going inside. That greenhouse is hot. Uh, so I do have a subject, sorry. Just rambling on. Yeah, blueberries aren't very thick this year, but they're, you know, they haven't gotten eaten yet. So that's a plus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some things are not bad, and other things are not doing well. And, uh, but, you know, that's how gardening goes, I suppose. Got lots of varieties of marigolds, all different colors this year. Uh, but I haven't got any white ones yet, which is all... I mean, I've planted the ones I thought would be white. They're all coming up not white. But, you know, probably not the end of the world. Oh, no, I don't got a chair in there, do I? Oh, yeah, there's one over there. I guess I could sit here. All right, so the subject. Anything else I wanted to show and tell? Not really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I'm done. I don't think there's anything else that's doing much yet. It's all close, but it just isn't quite flowering yet. Um, okay. Uh, dentist guy. Alright, made a video. Basically saying all the stuff I've already said, you know, that you know, living a good life or a, a life you could call a life worth living or a life worth repeating would have to be a productive life. You, you'd have to make the world better than you got it. You cleaned some other messes up and you didn't make too many. You know, whatever messes you made were minor compared to the messes you prevented are cleaned up. And that's just a fact of life. I mean, people can say, no, it doesn't matter because there's no morality and there's no ethics and there's no judge and no one's going to pass judgment, so therefore it doesn't... You know, it's, it's still a fact. You can't do something repeatable that's running a deficit. And the only way they can get out of the deficit part is they just pretend, well, I tortured a few people, so what? What's torture? That's nothing. So, I mean, you can't... So, so dentist guy, so that's why I titled the, the video People Suck, because, yeah, people use these insipid and silly rationalizations and excuses to evade the truth, and they should just be shot in the fucking head. There's no excuse for putting up with human beings who have big, giant brains. Uh, they can do all this fucking calculus. They can do all kinds of things. And they can't figure out that torturing something sucks, is wrong, is bad, is a negative thing, that it, it puts red numbers on your scorecard. It's over fucking par. They can't figure out that that's a bogey, or maybe a double fucking bogey. Uh, yeah, well, I drunk drive and 
paralyzed a family of four and do 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 because I was too fucking lazy to give a damn. That's a bogey, fucker. <laughs> you know, whatever. That's a a falogi. <laughs> but do oh, look at that, a chipmunk, you fucking cunt. That's very brave. <laughs> yeah, you know, right, because the cats just. They do evil things, the chipmunks. Funny thing is, they don't do anything to the snakes. There's got to be 10 million snakes in this yard, Garter. You know, the Garter snakes, no big deal, but. I, every day I come out here, I gotta watch where I step because the freaking snakes are shooting around in front of me. Alright, it's not that bad, but it's bad. I mean, there's a lot of snakes. Which isn't bad, it's just snaky, you know. So, yeah, if you made more snakes in the world, it wouldn't really be a bogey because maybe that's a good thing. Uh, you know, maybe they cut down on the other living crap in the world. So that was another video you could talk about is, you know, the guy been posting videos about saving the uh, mites and stuff and, and trying not to kill as many insects, but you really do, you know, the, the, the truth is, is if you don't kill them, they're going to take the place of some other mite and they're going to kill it. You, you know, there's only so many seats in the boat, so, so to speak, in the biosphere. And so... If they live, they'll probably kill somebody else to live. And if you kill them, the benefit is they don't have any prodigy, so their prodigy aren't out in the world harming things. I don't know. But that's how it is with humans. And, you know, the dentist guy is saying, well, you know, you gotta, if, if you can kill them, they can kill you. Well, yeah, that's a fair enough bargain for me. I, I don't mind a war. Um, I just don't like the idea of war in the sense of you get to have a gang. You know, I want some sort of Marcus of Queensberry rules for the fight. And there's no uh, rationality to a fight that's just based on might. You, you know, it just says our gang has more members. Because we know it's like democracy. This is one of its failures. And we, we should, this should be a project that the intellectuals of the world are working on. Instead of trying to figure out how to sell more of their crappy, shitty books... Um, what they should be working on is to come up with some kind of mechanism that would be palatable to the stupid morons, where they would agree to accept that maybe some decisions are out of their league. You know, they're just unqualified by grotesque ignorance <laughs> to have an opinion. And um, policies, you know, about what the world is going to look like tomorrow, they're unrealistic nonsense that, well, God will clean up the global warming and, you know, God will make more oil and squirt it into the earth and, you know, that's not acceptable nonsense. And a little chipmunk again. Yeah, I would point to the chipmunk, but he's too far away, you won't see him. But they're awfully cute. I don't I'm finding things cute lately. This is not my tendency. Yeah, but they got their little hands and they eat it. Yeah, beep, 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 beep. yeah cute. Uh, anyway, kind of look like Asian chicks. Chipmunks are hot. Um, anyway, um, where was I? Yeah, so, so this idea of how we resolve this, uh, you know, you can't just take it to a judge, so to speak. You can't take it to somebody who's supposed to know better. And obviously that system totally broke down for us. I mean, we, you know, judges are the biggest imbeciles on earth, just about. Uh, they learned how to be liars as lawyers, and um, that's all they are is lying scum. They don't have any ethics or decency or even much logic or rationality. They're just the most incompetent ass wipes that could possibly be running the world. And this is a big problem, I, you know. And so, but yeah, so I'm all for a fight, but if you're gonna say, okay, I automatically lose because I don't have seven million members of my gang to go beat the shit out of your seven million. Um, I don't have soldiers and drones and uh, cruise missiles and therefore I should lose the war. I'm saying I really shouldn't. I, I'm saying if you're going to be, a, if you're going to man up and have a duel, you know, it's mano a mano. You don't get to go to the duel and the other guy gets five people to shoot and you only got one gun and one bullet. It, you know, there's a fair fight. And I want a fair fight.
but I, I mean, I think I'm entitled to a fair fight. I think all philosophies are entitled to a fair fight, not a, a lowest common um, imbecile wins. Uh, and that's the way it works. You, it's quite obvious that most people are less intelligent, <laughs> okay, than the most intelligent group. And I, again, I made a video pointing out that the intelligent don't necessarily have any of the right kind of intelligence. So and I don't really care about the trivia knowers. Um, I care about the, the game strategists because they have some hope of doing logic because they know how things work. Things have strict rules. They understand chess. The players, the, the pieces can only do certain things. You have to think of terms of strategies within that context. You can't pretend you know, pawns or queens, and you can't, uh, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta accept the rules of, of the, um, the logical demand, uh, the, the parameters of the, of the field you're trying to navigate strategy and solution in, and the strategy and solution for the human race, this argument needs to take place, this, this argument about what is the efficacy of life, certainly it's, this idea of pushing people into the void, into the world here, and having no guarantee of how the quality of their existence, no guarantee of their health, um, you know, or, or anything about what's going to happen to them, and just assuming that it's okay with them, they've pre-approved the experiment. When my testimony and even dentist's testimony would would counter that because we would know that no this isn't a cost-effective game that my existence is going to be intrinsically very expensive and it's going to be very hard to come up with a, a way to justify um, the expense of it um, just being part of this biosphere um, and there's no way to abdicate there's no way to um, extricate yourself from the play because you know that uh, that's you didn't vote to come here the first time <laughs> this time you did okay every time you show up you never voted for it so um, you know the the next person who's going to have a similar recognition that this is serious business that we're caught up in that the stakes are very high um, and the uh, you know there, there has to be a, a, a more certain uh, uh, truth to this being a productive adventure. Uh, you know, I, Ian Crossland did a video, and it was just so irritating. You know, he was just talking about, you know, um, well, you know, we've won and we've crossed the finish line because we have the internet, <laughs> you know, which is hilarious. You know, the, the grossest, most overpriced, uh, commercialized piece of crap <laughs> the universe has ever known um, and uh, uh, you know and that somehow we're all charmed to pieces but we get to talk to each other well yeah that's charming for about 10 minutes and then you figure out oh yeah it sucks where you are too yeah it sucks here too people suck don't they yeah people suck yeah and then you're done uh, conversation uh, completed <laughs> you find yet that there's other people in the world who understand exactly what you understand, that we're just caught up in a desire mechanism. Oh, I have to go eat, and then I have to go poo, and then I have to go fuck, and then I have to go eat, and then I have to poo, and then I fuck, and eat, and fuck, and fuck, and poo, and it's just the same old shit. You're just chasing the necessity as it arises. The necessity arises, you take your aspirin, you, you know, rub your whatever and be done with it but yeah that's all we're doing um, so yeah you find out there's other people in the world like that too and then you say well nice knowing you but yeah I, I got nothing to cheer you up with <laughs> you know, I got nothing I got nothing helpful you know I can't do much send you some cigarettes but that's about it um, you know, cat scratched head thing. See? So that's it for him, you know. It's a bowl of food, a few naps, a little bit of a head rub, 
and uh, yeah, next, <laughs> you know, just plage day as it comes, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's just not good enough. Uh, not, not for the price, like I said. The price is, is that there's things in horrific condition and horrific shape and experiencing horrific uh, torment. And, um, it's just not worth that. Yeah, okay, what do you want, cat? You, know, you want to take my chair? Is that it? Oh, okay, yeah, you want my chair, I think. How come it wasn't your chair before? You had the, plenty of time to have the chair. The chair was available all day. You could have taken the chair. How come it's always when I'm going to use something that you need to use it? It does have some psychological issues. Uh, who owns who sort of issues? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I own everything in this yard. It's all mine, 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 mine. Mm, mine. Uh, uh, claws not. Claws nothing. Anyway, um, sorry, yeah, you know, they do distract you. The whole brain shuts down. Uh, when you're rubbing pussy. Can't think. Um, Uh, yeah, so anyway, so yeah, that's the real challenge, I think, is to find a way to um, design a structure where these, this idea of unacceptable can be argued and has some fair opportunity to win a fair fight, because it is unacceptable, it's time to say it's unacceptable. It's time for it to be declared unacceptable. Um, he brought up the statistic I've used before, you know, the two million kids going blind for a lack of vitamin A a year. And, and you know, it, it is curable, usually. Well, half the time. They can reverse it. And they don't. Because that's how evil these crazy lunatic people are in the Middle East and stuff. These, these, these sick, disgusting, stupid people. They find it entertaining. You see, if they have an autistic kid, they find it entertaining. It's funny. <laughs> and if a kid goes blind or something, they love the experience of taking care of somebody who's blind, and they turn it into a, a, a sacrament to God or something. And they don't even want to cure them because then, oh, then it was just a disease. <laughs> then it was just a condition. It wasn't a magical God blindness. Some kind of shit like that. It's disgusting. I mean, it's just disgusting what people do. People suck. And there needs to be some way to, like I said, I, I find it unacceptable that they suck as much as they do. They suck too much <laughs> for it to be acceptable. Uh, it's certainly acceptable that they vote and shit. They have any power. And, um, yeah, so there needs to be a me or them kind of war, us or them. Uh, you know, I'm certainly comfortable with that. I don't, you know, uh, obviously I don't give too much shit about dying. But clearly I wouldn't want to die badly. But I certainly would risk dying badly um, for the opportunity to win big. And, uh, you know, to be done with this fucking idiocracy shit. The idiots running the world. I mean, yes, I am pro-democracy, but only because there's, so far, we haven't come up with something better. Um, but we need something better. Yeah. Now. Soon. ASAP. So anyway, I guess that's enough of a video. I'm just, it's just very nice out here, I can't, you know, this is one of those moments where you just say, gee, I'm just so lucky to end up, you know, through the whole adventure of your living, and you, you just never know about where you're going to be, and what's going to happen to you, and all this stuff, and here I am sitting here 56 years, you know, sitting in the game, and I'm saying, gee, I've never, 
I've never had it so good. Um, you know, the absence of neighbors alone is nice, but the absence of the, you know, I just, I, I've said, I just never realized how they blighted <laughs> this environment. Because they were, oh, the dog was always barking. They were always there yammering and making noise. And, you could just never escape it if you were outside. You just couldn't escape their conversation. They were just so loud and obnoxious. And it's, you know, this is just so... Yeah, yeah, I, I'm really... Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm fucking lucky. Anyway. You win some, you lose some. So, you know, I certainly won the maybe not a very secure future, but uh, it's a pretty damn good present. Present. Currentness. So anyway, yeah, these are Mexican sunflowers still waiting for them to do a little better before I transplant them, but they're. Yeah, they, they like being transplanted. <coughs> so anyway. Oh, stabbing me in the butt. Ow. That's all right. Um, so I don't think, we, yeah, this is rubbish here. I gotta clean up. Got some engines to work on. Yeah, lots of stuff to do. Busy work. And um, such. Let me just look at this. Yeah, just so nice. Really nice. Anyway, so I think that's all. So till the next time and such and so forth.